the relationships that it is that we choose to have within our life are usually a reflection of the relationship that is that we have with our self. Taking a step back and looking at everything going on in your life, do you have intimate relationships and connections that reflect who you are as a person? Where does that you see yourself going? And if not, how can we pivot, change that? What can we magnetize and what can we attract in order to reflect the state of being, the status that is that we wish to be right now, in this moment or in the near future? Welcome back. My name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary. And in today's video, we are gonna be diving into the full moon that's happening in the sign of Libra, who is a natural ruler of relationships, harmony, and aligning with the other. Take a moment, step back, have a glass of tea or a glass of water, and let's dive right in. Welcome to Bahati Life YouTube channel featuring Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Libra full moon happening April 6, 2023. Grab some coffee, grab some tea, a blanket, and let's get cozy and dive right in. So hello again, my loves. Thank you so much for hanging out with me once again. As I said in the very beginning of this video, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary, professional astrologer tarot and intuitive reader. There's so much to talk about in today's video. We are going to be diving in again into the energy of the Libra full moon. Again, this is happening April 6, 2023, roughly around 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, as I said in the very beginning of this video, that Libra naturally rules relationships. Not only is this the relationship that we have with others, but it's how we show up in our relationships as ourselves. Do you show up as your authentic self? Do you feel like you have to strive to overgive? Do you feel like others have to prove their worth and their value to you? What type of relationships and connections are you or have you already aligned with or currently aligning with now? Libra is such a wonderful zodiac sign that wants to harmonize and align and make things work. But at the time of this full moon, making things work can happen, but at what cost? When we take a step back and we look at the bigger picture, which now that Pluto is transiting through the sign of Aquarius, it wants us to emotionally disconnect so that we can logically and intuitively tune in to even the tiny details so that we can understand that the connections and things that we are harmonizing and aligning with, if they are not for our purpose, if they are not for our greater good, if they are not in alignment with ultimately what and who we see ourselves becoming, then maybe they need to be tossed out in to the trash. Now this is not something that happens overnight. It's a process, but the Libra full moon is going to be that key that activates this energy, that key that helps to propel you and moving forward with setting a standard and goals for yourself, for your life, and for your relationships. So if you are in a relationship, this is a wonderful time to bring in the energy of intimacy or deeper connection. There are a lot of transits here. For example, Mars transiting through the sign of Cancer, um, Neptune and, and Saturn transiting through the sign of Pisces, Sun transiting through the sign of Aries, even Mercury, Venus, and Uranus transiting through the sign of Taurus. There are a lot of signs here that want you to actively engage in creating stability for yourself, creating stability for yourself, and then having people, things, energies around you that add to that stability. They don't subtract from it. They don't take that away from you. One of the things that I talked about in this week's podcast, Bahati Life Podcast, I have a podcast, if you guys don't know, check it out on all of your major favorite um, podcasting platforms, you will find me there. But I was talking about how we are striving for safety in today's time. Every single one of us is looking for certain cues, certain things, certain energies, certain vibes, even things, actual physical, tangible things that when we are surrounded by them or when we are grounded in them, they make us feel stable and supported. We're also looking for resources. If you're not actively looking for resources, these are things that spirit, the universe, the cosmos is calling for you to ask for them now. 
this will also show up in your relationships and your connections, especially activated at the time of the Libra full moon. The relationships that you have within your life, do you feel like they are a safe place for you to land? The relationships that you have within your life, do you feel like you can be totally transparent and vulnerable with your thoughts, your wishes, your desires, or is there a shield that is pre pre preventing and protecting people from coming in? These are some very real questions. And this is where at the time of the Libra full moon, we get to ask ourselves, who and what do I see coming into my space? And if there's no one there, then it's time to maybe consider calling out to the universe, calling out to the divine, calling out to the creator, calling out to your higher self to begin to attract those relationships that make you feel the most safe and stable or to become that energy so that you can attract those things that mirror out into the world. Because Libra is the opposite of Aries. Aries rules the self. It's the I am statement, how we define ourselves and how we define ourselves reflects out into the external and mirrors back to us what we are or what we believe about ourselves. So the Libra full moon is a wonderful opportunity to begin to assess, to be aware, to change, to make changes, to manifest to in, and to set intention towards things that strengthen you, embolden you, give you courage, make you feel safe, make you feel supported. This Libra full moon also is not just exclusively intimate relationships or romantic connections. It's also partnerships and alliances that work for your highest and greatest good in your best interest. As I'm looking at the charts, Mars transiting through the sign of cancer wants to and is actively pursuing the spaces that again, you can feel the most comfortable while uh, Saturn currently sitting in the sign of Pisces being trined by Mars says that I have this greater vision, this greater dream for myself that I know can become a reality. Do you have what it takes? I want you to have what it takes. This is what I'm building towards. Let's build together something of worth, something that is stable, something that has substance to it. If this is not you looking at another, this is chances are you looking at yourself and finding those same traits and qualities that you can incorporate or embody or develop and grow within yourself. It's a very beautiful full moon that it is that we're working with that again, doesn't just look at intimate relationships. It looks at our goals and who can help us achieve those goals, right? And master those goals. I can't skip over the fact that yes, there are beneficial connections that can come through at the time of this full moon without also talking about the fact that there can be enemies. Enemies, <clears throat> believe it or not, there can be enemies here. The seventh house, which is the natural ruler of Libra energy, Libra naturally connects with um, the seventh house, rules our marriage partners, our romantic partners, but it also represents the people who can quickly become our worst enemies. This full moon has the chance to reveal to you people's actual intentions through misalignment, but not miscommunication. I hope that makes sense. This Libra full moon will show you who is for you by the energies that they hold, how they're moving, does it feel manipulative, does it feel calculated? These are things that the full moon is going to bring to your attention so that you understand that us trying to come together is not working out regardless. Or if someone's trying to pull closer to you and gain more intimacy with you and whatever that looks like, you can smell their intention from a mile away usually. So really set intention that your intuition and your discernment are very strong so that you are not trying to link up or harmonize with someone who again does not have your best interest at heart. And sometimes it's not something that you see immediately, it's something that reveals itself over time. The full moon, the Libra full moon will give you a strong whiff, a strong scent of someone's intentions and whether or not this is someone that you can count on or someone that you need to enforce boundaries, space, and distance away from. Now, remember how I talked about in the very beginning of this video that you are trying to find 
the universe is trying to create for you a safe space for you to be supported, for you to have stability, a sanctuary all of your own where you can have even the very things, actual physical tangible things that are meaningful and make you feel good in your day to day experiences. Remember how we talked about that? The North Node is falling in the sign of Taurus, right? The opposite of the sign of Taurus is Scorpio. So there's a, a strong tendency here because Venus, and stay with me because I know this is a lot, Venus is the natural ruler, I'm sorry, yeah, Venus is the natural ruler of Libra and Venus just happens to be transiting through Taurus. All of these planets and these two signs are being activated at this time. So. I want you to keep an eye out for the parts of you that feel like you need to be very on guard and defensive because the North Node is also falling in the sign of Taurus. The opposite of the North Node is sign, uh, is um, Scorpio. And that means that the South Node is falling in the sign of Scorpio. This is our inability to really let our guard down. We feel like we need to protect ourselves. We feel like we have issues with trust. We feel like there's something that can happen to us at any moment at any time and we want to be prepared for that whether we're conscious of it or or subconscious or or it's in our subconscious the universe or spirit or the cosmos is minimally wanting you to draw your attention to that armor that shield that you may be carrying that may be a preventing you from connecting with others b exhausting you and your energy and your ability to align with a future purpose and future goal that you are actively manifesting. For example, let's say at the time of the Libra full moon, you realize that you wanna set intention for an amazing relationship, but also you wanna harmonize in a partnership that brings in money and abundance. If you have a subconscious fear that you making more money means that you owe more money or that there's an evil to it or something that is bringing fear or triggering fear within you, this is the time during the Libra full moon where you can understand your relationship with money, your relationship with others, your relationship with self, and your blockages to attracting connections and harmony, like things that are harmoniously aligned with you to help you to actually achieve your goals. I hope this makes sense. Please let me know down in the comments if this makes sense. Moving forward though, um, the North Node falling in the sign of Taurus is helping you to ask for help tap into resources and also giving you opportunities to make more abundance, more security for yourself if you decide that this is something that you truly, truly want. I don't want you to look away as spiritual beings. I don't want you to look away from your ability to secure resources and finances and money and things if that's something that you are really drawn towards. I mean, we all use things. We use our laptops. I use a microphone. I use a bag to carry my um, scan disc in so that I can get these videos up for you. And those are things they help me to achieve my purpose, which is to pull the charts and share the message with you. I do research to make sure that those things are the highest quality or the quality provides me exactly what it is that I need in order for me to fulfill my purpose. So these are the same things that we can look at um, as we're looking at the chart that yes, as spiritual people, we are still human beings having a spiritual experience and there are tools and resources to help us to hit our goals. What does that look like for you? The Libra full moon will not only highlight your relationships, your relationship with others, but also the tools and the resources that are here at your fingertips to help you to achieve those goals and make sure that you have everything you need in order to get that thing done or ever in or order to do that thing or to ask for help or whatever the case is fill in the blank okay so that is a lot here one last final message and one last final word that it is that i want to share with you is at the time of the libra full moon i really want to encourage you or inspire you to ask yourself the question of what parts of me feels disconnected from being able to ask for help from being able to connect and harmonize and align with a more peaceful, abundant, beautiful life that it is that I'm seeing for myself. Are there things, um, shields or weapons, 
metaphorical weapons that I'm holding on my person or that I'm holding within my energy that creates a blockage from allowing someone or something in when in fact me opening up to this person or this thing or this project or this tool could actually be in my highest and greatest good but I'm going to need to be vulnerable in that. Having said that, set the intention for discernment so that you know and you have a, a sense, a very strong sense of who and what is for you versus who wants to be by your side but may not have necessarily the best of intentions. Now, if you are about working your magic as I am, this is an amazing full moon for beginning to light or work candles, fix candles for love and romance or working with petition oils, intention oils to help you to set that uh, intention into motion. Oils are incredible because they hold the properties of plants, the elements of earth, fire, wind, air, all of those things can be found within a plant and each plant has its own properties. Now, it's for me to explain how to work the intention oils is a whole nother video. In fact, I've made a whole video about that. I'll link it down below. But if you are interested in working your magic, burning a fixed candle, having a candle work for your intentions, for relationships, for vulnerability, for intimacy, deeper connection, or even working on releasing some subconscious blockages, I have a shop, BahadiLife.com, Bahati Life Apothecary, where you can find plenty of magical goods to help to subconsciously work with those energies to help you attract, magnify, or even to protect. Again, I'll link those things down below. In the meantime, you guys, I'm sending you all of my love. Again, all of my love. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, for tuning in as we talk about the Libra full moon. Let me know what you're going to be manifesting and setting intention for. Let me know also if this resonates. Do you feel like there are blockages that are preventing your goals or relationships or connections or deeper level of intimacy and transparency or even fun with the people that it is that are currently in your life are you going to set intention to work through those to work past those or work with them let me know let me know okay let, let us all know down in the comments until then you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me and of course i'm going to invite you to subscribe to this youtube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from and i will see you in my next one bye